Hello and welcome to the Void XRC video. Thanks for tuning in. So today we'll just be taking a look at this old 1970s testers control line airplane here. I believe this is modeled after a Sopwith Camel from World War I. Anyways, my nephew asked me if I could get this running for him. He knows absolutely nothing about it and I, didn't, I don't really know much about it either. I was able to find a little bit of information online though. But this is a testers product made in the USA here. The date on it is 1972. It's quite a bit older than I am. And it has a little small nitro engine here that powers it. And to control its elevation you use these two strings that come off of it here. It's hard to see both of them. Get some light proper here. Yeah, there, those two strings. One and two. And what those do, those move the tail flaps there, as you can see. Or the elevator, I think it's called. I'm not sure though. I don't know much about flying. I think it's the elevator though. So yeah, that's how you would um, control its elevation. So I have no idea if this thing is actually going to still run, especially considering its age. But let's just take a quick look into it and see what the motor looks like and whatnot. The so first thing we need to do is remove the prop. Oh, before we do that, one, one, one other piece of information that I was able to find is apparently they made a few different versions of, of the starter for the system. And this has the first version of the starting system where it's got an internal spring where you wind it against that spring and then it springs forward to start like that. And apparently they change it up to a strip start later on where you would pull a little strip through or something like that and then that would start the propeller. So this does have the original spring system in it. And I did uh, hear that it could be fairly weak so I'm surprised that this is still in nice condition as it is. Anyways, now that I've just mentioned that, let's get back on to taking the engine out. First thing we need to do is remove the prop. I've already removed the one screw we need to remove here. And we need to remove this red piece. And that frees up mostly everything. There's only a couple other things we need to do. We need to take out the um, screw for the carburetor here. So we can pull the engine out. And then boom, here's its little nitro engine. I'm just going to put this screw back in so no dirt or anything gets in there. So you can see its little fuel line there, which is quite old now. It actually looks like there's some very old fuel stuck in the line there. I will not be surprised if I have to put a new fuel line on there as this thing has absolutely no flex to it now. It feels very brittle. And I'm just, I'm guessing the carburetor is in there. I don't really know if there's anything I can do to service it if it needs servicing, so I really don't have a clue. But let's go ahead and look at the, um, the cylinder and the piston and see what, see what kind of condition they're in. All right, well, looking down the cylinder walls, they look in very good condition. I don't think I have a light to show you guys in there. The glow plug also looks like it's still in good condition too, which is very surprising. Yes, I don't think I can... Let me just grab my light here. See if we can give you guys a view. So yeah, it doesn't look too bad in there. The piston itself looks in pretty good condition too. A little bit of gunk build up on it, but hardly anything. And you can see that there's the spring for starting it right there. Alright, well, hopefully this thing will have a chance. I will have to get some nitro 
fuel to be able to run this and I probably won't mess with this until it gets a little bit warmer outside as it's just too cold to be doing this sort of thing outside in the garage right now. But if anyone has any knowledge on these things I'd love to hear more about it in the comments. If you have any questions too just make sure to put them down there. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.